Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is, oh, it is exactly 4.30 p.m. <laughs> the lighting in here is so bad, but I'm trying to uh, get all these videos done before Alex gets home. So this is, this is where I'm vlogging. I'm back. I'm back home. Back home again in Indiana. Um, I know most of you don't really care about the quality of the video, the lighting and all that. I was going to sit outside today, but I don't know when it's starting. Um, they were like walking around today and looking at stuff. So before I left, they were doing, we didn't know what they were doing, but apparently now we know that it was the electric company because the management company has sent out emails. So they were doing fiber optics with, I don't know, the electric company was out here earlier. Now the cable company is coming out here this week. And so we're not really sure when they're gonna start. We were told at first that we could take up all the flags, um, but the flags are in the ground still, and they are not coming to mow the grass this week because they are doing major work in the neighborhood with the cable company. One of the days or two of the days, the cable is going to be completely out. We're not going to have any cable, which means I'm not going to have any internet, which means those day, that day, whatever that day is, I am not going to be able to um, upload any videos. I was just sitting here thinking, I was like, I have therapy on Thursday, and I Zoom that. Well, I guess I could do it on my phone, couldn't I? So... But anyway, I am hoping um, that it's not out for like days on end because that would not be good. Let me turn this down just a little bit, the light on the computer. So we're back. We're back in Indiana. We, um, I took, well, I was going to film yesterday when we got home. The lighting is so bad in here. Can you see? It's because of the sunshine coming through here. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Um, I was going to film yesterday when we got home because... We flew into Indianapolis early yesterday. Not early, early, but we got in about, I can't remember exactly, I think it was like 5.30 or something. We were back home by like 6.30ish. I was so tired when I got home. It was so funny because I was texting Mel and she was like, didn't you just take a vacation where you relaxed? And I was like, I did, but we were like going the whole time. Like, you know, get up, go to the beach, you know, in the beach, on the water, you know, doing this, doing that. And then we come back and then I would like take a nap, but like we would have dinner reservations or meet up with this person or meet up with that person. It just, it seemed like we were going, going, going until like finally at night we would come home and, um, you know, I would watch like a show or listen to a book or something like that. So yesterday when we got home, um, we both unpacked. I actually did a video on my Peter Does stuff. I'm like, where can I get this lighting so the lighting is a little bit better in here? I guess you guys are like, if Peter, we don't care about the lighting. Um, so I was gonna, tomorrow, if, if they're not out there working, I will film outside on the front porch tomorrow. I was gonna film, like I said, outside today, but they're walking around, so I don't know if they're gonna start it on or not. I mean, it's a little late in the day to start on it, but I'm also trying to upload these videos, and so I wanna sit in front of the computer so I can get that done. But anyway, so we got home last night, and we unpacked all of our stuff. Alex usually waits a couple days before he unpacks, but he unpacked all of his stuff yesterday. And so we unpacked um, all of our stuff. And then I tried to lay down for a little bit. I was like, I'm gonna lay down if you wanna watch like a show. Cause we had, like, we had RuPaul's Drag Race to catch up on and the after show untucked. And then we had a Vanderpump Rules and the Valley to catch up on. And I was exhausted. And so my plan was to get unpacked and then I was gonna vlog right after that. But I was so tired. I was like, there's just no way. I'll just start it tomorrow with vlogging tomorrow. So, um, so yeah, so we got done unpacking. Alex came down here. He was watching that show on Netflix that I had talked about that I started. He started it yesterday, and I think he finished it last night. Let me see what the show is called. The show is called Three Body Problem or something like that. Three, three Body Problem, yeah. It's actually right now on Audible. It's like one of the the main books listed on Audible. So anyway, he started that yesterday when we were at the airport and he finished it. Yesterday when I was at the airport, so the night before, I, the, I got a lot of books done on this trip. I got The Firm done. I got The Exchange done, which were both Peter's book club books. I wanted to get the true crime book done, which was the Idaho book about the Idaho, the Idaho college killings. I didn't know anything. I didn't follow that at all, like when it was going on. So I didn't really know much about it. 
So Saturday on the beach, I started it and then finished it Saturday night. And so Sunday, I hadn't started a book yet. And so when we were at the airport yesterday, I was like, I'm going to start the book for Peter's Book Club for April, which is Amy Tintera's, um, what is that book called? Something about the lie. I feel like there's always books out about the lie. It's a book called Find the Lie, something like that, Amy Tintera. Why can't I find it? Let's search images. It's a red cover. Why is it showing all these other books except for, listen for the lie, listen for the lie. So I started that at the airport and I actually finished it on the plane yesterday. It was really, really good. It is really, really, really good. Good thriller. You know what I didn't look is to see if Reese's book club, I meant to look at this earlier, Reese's book club, if she put out her book for April yet. Let's see. No, she's still got the, it'll say on here though when the next one is. Oh, it doesn't say March pick. I was going to go in and I was going to read that March pick because I haven't read it yet, which is the March pick is called Anita DeMonte Laughs Last. It's the only one this year that I haven't read. So anyway, um, what was I saying? No, I don't even remember. But anyway, oh, so I finished that book on the airplane. The book was really, really good. I would highly recommend it, obviously, because it's the pick for Peter's Book Club. But no, like everybody, I, the, not everybody, but I saw a lot of people while I was on vacation reading this book. And so I was like, oh, I want to get this started right away. And I literally listened to it. Like we, I started it at the airport and I finished it on the plane. And then I watched Survivor and got caught up on that. And then I started um, Amazing Race. Did I finish Amazing? No, I did. I was going to finish Amazing Race last night. And um, we ordered food last night. Alex got pizza. I got Cheesecake fa Factory. <laughs> I was so hungry yesterday. So, um, and I didn't even eat all of it. I couldn't. So, uh, I was going to watch Amazing Race as Alex was watching that show. But then he was like, do you want to watch RuPaul's Drag Race? So we watched RuPaul's Drag Race instead. And then after RuPaul's Drag Race, I was like, I have got, at that point, it was like, like t uh, almost 11, like 10, 45, 11. I was like, I have got to lay down for a little bit. And I got into bed and I was like, I'm either going to lay down till like midnight and then get up and watch some shows or I'm just going to sleep through the night. So Alex had the seventh, half of the seventh episode of that show, Three Body Problem, and then the eighth episode. And he was like, I'm just going to finish the seventh episode. But I think he finished both of them because he came upstairs around like 12, 15 and I had just fallen asleep. And I was going to get up. I like got up and I like turned off my alarm and stuff. And I was like, okay, just get up and go watch some shows. And I was like, I am so tired. Just go to, go to bed and get a good night's sleep. So I went to sleep. I woke up several nights throughout the night or th several nights. I woke up several times throughout the night. Um, but I ended up sleeping like 12 hours. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I got like a lot of sleep last night. So I woke up today and, um, yeah, I was like, to be honest with you, I don't know if it's the allergies or what is going on. I just got all that over me. It started last night when we got to the house. I had a really bad headache and like I was all stuffed up. And I just started feeling like I was getting sick. Like I felt congested. I just did not feel good. And I was like, I hope I am not getting sick. I hope it's just allergies. So today when I got up, I took my allergy medicine. I still do not feel great. I just took some Tylenol like 20 minutes ago. And um, my head has been like killing me all day long. But this is the one and only cup of coffee that I've had so far today. So I really wanted to film some videos today because I was not sure whether or not like the cable company is going to be out. I'm not going to be able to film videos. And also I'm running around with Caroline for Cousin Fun Day. And I have therapy on Thursday and just a bunch of stuff this week. So I was like, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to film. Plus next Monday is the total solar eclipse. They're doing this thing at the pool. Alex is doing something. He was like, he asked me, he was like, all right. He's like, I know you're really excited about it. He's like, do you want me to come home? And I was like, because he has like, he was going to go out to um, like lunch with a couple girls that he's working with and they were going to go to this like thing and Carmel. I was like, just go. I was like, I don't, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm excited about seeing it, but it's not like you have to come. He, like he felt bad. I was like, just go with your girlfriends and go out and have lunch. He's like, are you sure? I was like, you don't get a day off very often. Just go out with your girlfriends and have lunch. Cause there's a lot of places around here, like restaurants and stuff that are like, you have to get reservations. And so they got reservations. I just, just go. I'm just going to walk down with the neighbors to the pool. I may just stand in the driveway. I ordered all these glasses, like 20 of them, 
um, and like everybody already has glasses, so now I'm stuck with like 20 of these solar eclipse glasses. But anyway, so that's next Monday. So I don't, if, if I get up early and I film a bunch of videos, then I'll probably film videos and post them for that day. Um, but I don't think I'm going to film anything afterwards because it's from like 3 to, well, it's like 3 to 3.15 or something like that. I have it all in my, I'm actually going to do a video about it on my Peter Dust channel this week. Um, people are really, really excited about it. There's like, I know people that, I know so many people that have people driving here or coming here just for the solar eclipse, like from states away. Because there's only like five states that you can see it and Indiana's one of them, which I think is kind of crazy. But anyway, so that's next Monday, so... Yeah, I don't know. So I was like, okay, I gotta film some videos today. So I actually was gonna start my first video that I wanted to do while I was on vacation, but I never got to it from my Peter Dustoff channel was what's in my toiletry bag. I know, such an exciting video, right? So I was gonna film that one first and then a Peterisms video and then I was gonna get to my drama video, which was, I was gonna do this Q&A today that I was gonna do on my trip. And, um, which is rendering right now and I'm gonna upload it to my phone in just a second. But I actually, um, started and I did my Q&A first. It's like an hour and 34 minutes. It is really, really long. Where is it at on the rendering? Let's see. Oh my God, it's still, it's only at like a quarter of the rendering. So it's still got so long to go. What is going on here? I need a new computer so bad. But anyway, um, so I did that video and then I finished or I filmed the what's in my toiletry bag video and then I sometimes like when I'm rendering stuff like it'll look like it has a long time and then it'll be like almost done so I'm like fingers crossed maybe this video is almost done but since it's so long I doubt that it is um so yeah so I um hold on just a second switch this so yeah so I um filmed that and I'm like looking to upload this video and I can't, it's, the video's not even on my, my phone yet. <laughs> so anyway, um, because I, it hasn't rendered yet. Um, so yeah, so I finished that one and then I filmed a Peterisms video. I actually, before I left, I made my list right here of all my videos that I wanted to film. And I was going to do a review video, a TV video, and a booktube video. But since Alex is going to be home a little bit earlier, um, I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop early today and uh he's going to get a little boo radley i'm so excited i can't wait to see mr boo radley i've missed him every single day so there's been this picture on my phone that i've kept of boo radley every single day that we've been gone hold on i'll show you it's so cute i would show it to alex every night i'd be like here's little boo radley here's the picture <laughs> can you see it i don't know if you can see it hold on it's like his little He's like peeking at me out from underneath his blanket. Hold on a second. Can you see? The lighting is so bad in here, you can't really see it, but there he is. This is his little head. I was like, hi, little Boo Radley. So I can't wait to see little Boo Radley. I missed him so much on this trip. I missed him so, so, so much. So yeah, so Alex is um, getting ready to leave work and go get him and then they'll be home. And then we're just gonna hang out tonight. So I'm uploading these videos, we'll try and get these videos done and stuff before Alex comes home. So yeah, that was my day, that was my exciting day. So we didn't, um, and then I filmed a Peterisms video, did I say that? And so I'm gonna render that one here in just a second. So I, the, I took off Saturday and Sunday from filming anything. I had already filmed the hotel room tour to be posted on Sunday. So like I did that on Thursday night, right before we were getting ready to go to dinner with our friends. And so after I got home that night, when I was putting up my vlog, I got that one ready. And then after that vlog was done on Thursday night, I just shut my computer. My plan was to come home last night. And then after I got unpacked and stuff like that, I was going to vlog. But I was so tired. I was like, nobody's going to care if I take one more day. So, um, so yeah, I took one more day. It's kind of weird. Last year, when we got back from vacation, which was around the same time, it was like a week later that I went into the hospital with pancreatitis. And honestly, it kind of made me a little nervous um, coming home. I was like, God, I hope I'm okay. I was like, that seems so weird that that was like a year ago. Because I took off like the whole month of April, I think, from like filming. I was in the hospital with pancreatitis. And then 
after I got out of the hospital, like I took like a whole month off. So yeah, I, um, so I ended up not filming yesterday. Thursday night, well I filmed on Thursday night, didn't I? That was when we went out to dinner with our friends that were down there for the cruise. Friday night, we, or Friday, we got up and we went to the beach. It was actually like a couple days it was supposed to rain in Florida and it really never did. I mean, it, it rained a little bit in the morning and it was cloudy somewhat in the afternoon, but it was really not that bad. I actually got like a really nice tan. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not like as tan as I usually am, but I got a nice tan. Um, so Friday, we hung out on the beach and then we, afterwards, we were done with the beach. We went up to the rooftop pool, which was one of the things we had like been doing. The at the one hotel, they have this like really nice. They have like a restaurant. It's called Water, and you walk in through the restaurant, and then you go to the pool. And the pool's like raised, and it's this rooftop pool. And they have like chairs all around it, and then they have chairs like at the end that overlook the ocean. Well, the whole week, I mean, it was during the week, so it really wasn't that busy, but on the weekends, it's like super busy. On Friday, we could hardly get seats. We were like at the very, very end overlooking the ocean, which Alex enjoyed, he liked it, but I wanted to be like in the pool and where they were like playing music, they had like a DJ and stuff, and, and you had to like walk over to the pool. I mean, it was really no big deal, but you couldn't like sit around the pool. And like, you know, I couldn't be in the pool talking to Alex outside the pool and stuff like that. And so, Saturday, I knew it was going to be super, super, they have like a, like a party up there at the pool. And so I knew it was going to be super, super busy. And so I said to Alex on Saturday, I said, let's just stay down at the beach the whole day. And then, cause he doesn't really care, but I like to get in the pool, like before I go up to my room or go up to the room and, you know, get like all the, you know, feeling like all chlorinated and stuff. I love that smell and that feeling and then put on my pajamas and relax for a little bit. So Friday night, we went up to the rooftop, then we came back, we laid down for a little bit, and then we met our friend that lives in Miami, that used to live here, but now she lives in Miami. We met her for dinner at The Deck, which is one of our favorite restaurants. I can't remember what it's called. It's called like the something gardens, jungle gardens, The Deck of the Jungle Gardens or something like that. It's all outside. They have like a DJ that plays, and then they have like this like electric violinist, and they have this woman that does like this fire stuff. She like eats fire and all these fire things. It's really cool. I showed it on my Instagram story. And we ate there for dinner, and I ended up getting a truffle and pear pizza. I had a salad, I had a caprese salad, and then I had a truffle and pear pizza. It was one of the best pizzas I had ever like had in my entire life. And then we did end up getting dessert. Um, I had like a cappuccino. And then we went back. I can't remember what I watched Saturday night or Friday night. Friday night might have been the night that I started watching that show. I feel like I started watching that Thursday night. I don't remember. And then Saturday we got up and we were at the beach all day long. And the beach was beautiful on Saturday. It was like perfect temperature. I was kind of worried it would be a little bit cold because it was like 78 to 80. But it, not cold. But like it can be windy on the beach and whatever. But like the water temperature was perfect. The beach was warm. It was really nice. There weren't that many clouds. There just were a lot of people on the beach. Um, and so we stayed out there till about 5.30, and then we went up. And the one pool that I hadn't gotten into, I wanted to get into before we left. So Alex was, like, taking videos and stuff of this bar. that's like this, like, jungle bar. It's like they have, like, beach party going all weekend long. So he was taking videos of that, and I got in the pool, and then we walked upstairs. And then that night, we had dinner reservations at Water, which was on top of the one. And our friend that we had had dinner with on Friday night, she was meeting us there. So she met us there. And then, um, and I had started listening to that day, the true crime book about the Idaho. I can't remember what it was called. But it was whatever true crime, our true crime book for March. So we sat up there and we sat up there for a while. It was really, really cold and really, really windy. And so I was so hungry because it was like sushi and stuff like that. And they had like one sushi roll that was vegetarian. It was asparagus roll. Oh, Alex just sent me a picture. It's going to be Boo Radley. He's going to have a picture of Boo Radley. Hold on a second. Aww, little Boo Radley. <laughs> He's got little Boo Radley and he's bringing him home. Oh, Boo Radley, I can't wait to see him. So, um, so we went to dinner. I was so hungry, you guys. I had this candy bar. I was going to do these reviews of these candy bars, but I ended up eating them while I was there. I did not eat healthy at all. I've gained, I've gained some weight back. I got on the scale today. I was like, oh, it's time to get back on the weight loss journey. Um, so yeah, so, um, I, uh, 
So I was like, I want this candy bar. So I was like, I told Alex, and we've been up there forever, and they were gonna sit there and talk. And then he had bought a sh bottle of champagne, like the first night that we got to the hotel at Walgreens, and so he was like, she's gonna come down to the hotel room. We had like this huge, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, living room area and stuff it was really nice and so he was like she's gonna come down and we're gonna like drink some champagne and catch up and stuff after dinner I was like that's totally fine so back in the day we'd be going out to a club till 3 a.m. versus her coming back to our living room and hanging out so they sat out in the living room and I listened to my audiobook I sat with them for a little bit and then I listened to my audiobook but before I did I went down ahead of them and I was at the elevator and this guy was like Peter Peter Mon and I go oh my god how and it was like this friend of ours and um he was down there for a divorce. I was like, his divorce celebration. And I go, how are you doing? And I was like, how's your wife and kids? And stuff. So he goes, well, actually, I'm down here for my divorce celebration. And I go, oh, I'm sorry. And he goes, he kind of like, was like real awkward. And he was like, well, don't be sorry. It's like a celebration. It's like friend had like brought him and like some friends down there for like this divorce celebration. I don't know. It just kind of made me sad. But anyway, I don't know why it made me sad, but it did. we hadn't seen him in forever. It was like a friend of ours that we used to like go out with like way back in the day. But, um, so I saw him and then I went to the hotel room and then, I can't believe this video is still rendering. This is taking forever today. It's like only halfway done. This is unbelievable. So yeah, so then I went to the hotel room, put my pajamas on. We had already packed and everything. Like we were like ready to go so we could just enjoy the night. And then I finished that audio book. And then I watched one show of something. Oh, I watched RuPaul's Drag Race UK. I like th the night before I would watched last week's episode, I think. And so then I watched this week's episode and I finished it. It was okay. I was just thinking about this last night. I was like, I don't even remember who won RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, now I, I, I remember who won. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with the, the, I mean, I wasn't upset, but UK drag RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world is always like like last year it was that blue person the way they do it is they have these two winners and then the winners vote on who they want eliminated so it's never like I don't think it's ever who you really think it would be I who I wanted to win and and who I don't want to say in case somebody's watching it but like who I wanted to win I was happy with who won. Like, I really like her. But I didn't think she deserved to win out of the top four. Um, but they did this, like, lip sync for your life kind of thing. So I watched that, and then I went to bed. And then we got up yesterday, and, yeah, we checked out at, like, 11. And we were at the airport and stuff like that. And so that's when I started listening to that book. And that was the end of our trip. It was nice. Um, so, yeah, so that's why I took a couple days off. I was just like, I'm not going to vlog till I get back. And then last night when I was going to vlog, I was, like, so tired and my head was hurting. And I was like, I'm just, I, I'm not going to, like, you know, I just need to relax and whatever. So I did. So that's what I did last night. And then today, I have been, I could have filmed this whole thing, I guess, outside because I don't hear anybody outside. And... It's still not rendered yet. <laughs> so, um, I didn't need to transport it over to my phone to upload it because it's still not rendered yet, which I don't know why it's taking so long. This is kind of crazy. But anyway, I mean, it's an hour and a half long, but it usually doesn't take this long. It usually takes like 10 or 15 minutes. And I've been vlogging for like, what, 23 minutes now or something like that? So yeah, it was fun. And today, other than like filming videos, I've just been kind of getting stuff organized around the house, kind of getting plans ready. I have so many videos um, listed. While I was on vacation, one, one of the things that I did was I made this list of all these videos. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos for my Peter Dusta video, one of which is what's in my... Um, toiletry bag, which I can delete that because I did that. And then I have, oh well, here, delete this Q&A off my drama channel. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drama videos to make. I have two reality show videos and I have, well, I made this Peter of Zim's video today, but I have like three or four that I wanted to put on this list. I need to revamp this list because I want to have a list of like ongoing videos so that every day I can just like 
sit down and be like, oh, okay, what videos do I feel like, feel like, I mean, other than this, because this is just, you know, I just get on the vlog and talk and whatever, but other than this, I want to just, like, have, like, videos that I know that, like, you know, I'm making every day and all that kind of stuff, so, so, yeah, so I'm back, got the computer and everything set up last night, it was nice just relaxing last night, I don't know why I was so tired, I felt so exhausted when I got home yesterday, I told Alex, I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me, and, like, as soon as we got back to Indiana, I started feeling, like, real congested. And today, I even felt worse. I was texting with Nikki, and I was like, oh, there, I just got done. I was texting with Nikki, and I was like, I feel like it's either allergies or I'm getting sick. I hope I'm not getting sick. I don't typically ever get sick, like, when I'm on a plane or anything like that. So, I don't think that um, I got sick from the plane. Plus, we were only on it, like, two, two hours and 20 minutes or something. It was a real short flight. So I don't think I'm sick from that or anything like that, but yeah, hopefully not. So this is going to be a real short vlog today. <laughs> the lighting's bad and it's a short vlog, but I will be back tomorrow with a longer vlog, hopefully outside. It's supposed to be um, this week. Alex and I were looking like today and tomorrow. Tani was saying last night, I talked to Tani for a long time last night, she said that the temperature was really nice while we were gone, that it was like 60 or low 70s a couple days. So, like today and tomorrow, it's supposed to be, I can't look right now because I'm like transferring this video over to my phone to upload it. But like today and tomorrow, it's supposed to be like 50. It's not cold outside, but it's not warm. It's like 50. And then it's supposed to drop into like the 40s and the 30s for like Wednesday and Thursday. And it's supposed, and maybe Friday, I think. And it's supposed to be like snow and rain. And then all next week, it's this weekend and all next week, it's supposed to be like 50s, 60s, and then into the 70s. And all next week, it's supposed to be like upper 60s and 70s. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, it seems really, really bizarre, like, having um, been in the hospital a year ago for pancreatitis and now being out. Although I will say, like, one thing... Is that the time that I took off afterwards was really nice to just get up every single day and not, you know, be like, I gotta get this done, I gotta get that done, and whatever. It was really nice just to like watch some shows and, you know, just relax and whatever. Um, I think it would actually be good for me for like once, I would love to just every year like take a whole month off, but I'm, you know. I'm a little too driven to do all that. I'm a little too driven to take a month off every uh, every year. But, you know, to have a month where I go lighter and stuff like that. I actually was, like, looking at my videos the other day, which I rarely ever do. And I was like, I posted, even with, like, being on vacation, I posted pretty much as much as I did in, like, February as I did in January. So, I don't know, maybe April I'll take a little bit of a slower time. But I think I would rather, like, I have kind of, like, my whole schedule for the summer ready. Like, on the days that are nice, like, I'm going to get up and I'm going to film, like, two or three videos in the morning. Those, those can be uploading while I'm at the pool and go to the pool and then come back and film like a vlog video. Maybe like pre-film like a drama video at night. So then that will be like four or five videos that I can be posting every day and still go to the pool and like listen to audiobooks and read books and sit outside and, you know, enjoy the summer. So the summer I've got like all like figured out and how I want to do all that kind of stuff. And um, so yeah. So we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how things go. I always feel like I have to let you guys know what my plans are as far as filming. I don't know why. I know nobody, everybody's, but you know what's so funny? It was like, I didn't film for like three days and I got so many comments from people that were like, um, I really miss your vlogs and I know, I know you're taking some time, but I really miss your vlogs. And like, that means so much to me. I really, I don't even know how to explain how much that means to me that, um, you know, anybody's like looking forward to my vlogs. I remember back in the day when I first started watching YouTube and, you know, I was watching that ship 689 and, um, about Will and RJ and I would like look forward to their vlogs every single day. I think they post it every single day, but like, I'd be like, they haven't posted it. They post by six, you know? So I don't know. That means a lot to me when you guys say that. Um, but I'm not always going to post every day, so, but I made that very clear. So anyway, um, but I'm happy to be back. We had a fantastic vacation, but there is no place like home, and I love being home. I love our house, and um, so yeah, I'm excited to have a little cozy night tonight. I've got to pick a new book. I haven't started a new book since I finished that Amy Tintera book, so I'm going to do that tonight. So I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Monday, and if nobody else has told you this today, 
I love you. Shorter vlog today, shorter outro. I'll be back tomorrow with a longer vlog and a longer outro. I love you guys so much and I'll see you then. Bye. Love ya.